new combat tactics in Ukraine, Russians now use turtle tanks in groups. The use of so-called turtle tanks on the front lines in Ukraine appears to be becoming the norm. Just three weeks after the first discovery of a Russian T-72 tank with an additional protective hull attached to it, Russian troops are now using the modified vehicles in groups. This is evidenced by a clip that is currently circulating on social networks. Russian military blogger Boris Rozin published a video on Telegram with drone columns of turtle tanks. According to him, the recording was made last Saturday and shows an attack on the small town of Krasnogorovka in the DPR. The footage shows four turtle tanks believed to be upgraded infantry fighting vehicles and a main battle tank driving into the city area under Ukrainian artillery fire. In the end, it appears that only one of the vehicles made it back to Russian positions. According to a military blogger, the attack was aimed at transporting paratroopers into the city. The first turtle tank was spotted near Krasnogorovka in early April. Just a week later, a Ukrainian drone spotted another example of the improved design in the area. Instead of a flat protective panel, the second turtle tank had a taller design, apparently to protect the infantrymen. The design has proven itself. According to the pro-Ukrainian blog Defense Express, during its baptism of fire, the prototype unloaded Russian attack aircraft near Ukrainian positions and then drove back again. The experience gained by the Russian armed forces with the turtle tank now seems to be affecting tactics. Instead of simply placing one of the vehicles at the head of an attacking column, several turtle tanks are used at once. The Ukrainian armed forces are having trouble defending themselves against these monsters, as they call them, due to a shortage of artillery shells, mines and anti-tank weapons. Everyone laughs at the design of their armor, but they actually work damn well, wrote the pro-Ukrainian military blog Life on the Front Line about a video that allegedly shows the attack of a turtle tank on the city of Chasovya. According to the Telegram channel, it took a lot of FPV to repel the attack drones. Turkey's fifth-generation KAAN fighter has successfully completed its second test flight. The technical details of the tests have not yet been announced. The flight has not been officially confirmed yet. Since the first flight on February 21, engineers have been integrating new systems to improve the fighter's software, flight, and combat characteristics, TGRT TV channel said. It should be noted that on February 21, the KAN fighter jet of the Turkish Air Force, which took off from the murdered airbase in Ankara, stayed in the air for 13 minutes, the speed was more than 420 km per hour, and the flight height was 2.4 km. The Turkish aerospace industry considers the assembly of the second prototype as a pivotal milestone in the aircraft's ongoing evolution. The impending comprehensive flight tests will not only ask questions but will also provide vital responses. In any such project, the development and testing of a second prototype is always marked as a crucial turning point. In the first stage of the CONS airborne trials, the team will meticulously assess the aircraft's flightworthiness. This involves judgments on the aircraft's maneuverability, stability, and control across various altitudes and speeds, ensuring its performance aligns with expectations. Analysts project that the TAIKAN will host an array of weapons, a mix of air-to-air, -air, air-to-surface, and anti-ship missiles. Additionally, there is the possibility that developers might include an internal gun.
Bom dia da nova sessão.